Hey guys, so <clears throat> summer is here and a couple of you have noticed that I've been wearing like tank tops and shirts that show off my arms and my tattoos are showing. I have this tattoo here and it may not show up very well. I'm hoping that it does. This tattoo is a tattoo of Saint Michael and I have some Latin writing along the bottom here. So, like most people, I have a story behind my tattoo. And before I go any further, I just want to say, tattoos are a very personal choice. You know, they're very individual. Most I've not met one person yet who just decided to get a tattoo, walked into a tattoo parlor and said, hey, uh, just give me whatever you got. You know, tattoos are very personal. Uh, they have a story behind them. People get tattoos to remember an event or a person or to pay tribute to something that's important to them or to mark an important event in their life. And I have my own backstory here on my tattoo. So I will go ahead and kind of get into my story. I'll try to keep it brief, but my tattoo story starts eight years ago. Um, eight years ago I got divorced. I had been divorced for eight and a half years. Got divorced in 2003. It was a very difficult time for me. Um, I had gotten married right out of, out of the house. I still lived with my parents. I got married, um, had a baby pretty quick, and um, figured out quickly that I wasn't ready. So, but I stuck with it. We did our best and things just did not work out. It took us eight and a half years to figure out that things weren't working out. When we were too young. In my opinion, I had no business being married that young. But when you're 20 and 21 years old, you know, nobody can tell you anything. You think you know everything. Um, so, things did not work out. So I found myself in a very unfamiliar situation. Uh, I went from living with my parents to getting married, and then all of a sudden I was alone with an eight-year-old son. Um, I had never lived by myself before, so here I find myself moving from this big house. I had a really nice house. Um, I went from a nice house to a really rinky-dink two-bedroom apartment. Um, to bills that I couldn't handle. I had you know, a divorce attorney that I had to pay for. I had a bankruptcy attorney that I had to pay for. Um, and before I knew it, I was in trouble. And so I had to take on a second job just to help kind of cover those bills. Well, while all this was going on, we had gotten divorced that year in May. Uh, when my son finished school in June, I sent him to my in-laws house for the summer because I needed to get my head together. I was not, I was not all together upstairs. Um, and I'm not afraid to admit that I had a bit of a problem with alcohol. Um, I was highly depressed, anorexic. I'd lost probably 20 pounds and I wasn't heavy to begin with. Uh, I was almost, I think I was like 129 or 128 and uh, I lost 20 pounds. I was, I was so sick looking and I was smoking like a chimney. I was, I was on a downhill spiral and um, had it not been for my husband who I'm married to now, I may not be here making videos for you guys. So, um, he really pulled me out of my funk, made me realize my self-worth, self and made me realize what I was doing to myself and to my son. And even though my son wasn't there to see it, I knew that eventually he was going to be coming home. And even though I was in the midst of all, midst of all that depression and anger and sadness, I still knew better. I knew that I had to get it together for my son. Uh, um, so, I have my husband to thank for a lot of, a lot of things, and 
to me, like the ultimate way to say thank you to somebody was to do something like this. And people have different ways of showing their appreciation. This just happens to be mine. My husband was named after St. Michael, the Archangel. And if any of you are not familiar with the backstory of St. Michael, in a nutshell, he cast Lucifer from heaven. So what my tattoo represents here is, here's the head, here's wings, the sword. He's kind of bent down on his knee. And in Latin, this says, my husband, my love, my life. So, and not only does this tattoo represent my gratefulness to my husband, but it also represents his struggle. Um, the fact that St. Michael on my arm, arm is on his bend, bended knee, um, it represents the struggle that my husband went through with me during that time. And he would tell you right now, if he could, that he would have done anything for me, that it wasn't much of a struggle, but I happen to know better because I was a wreck. So the fact that St. Michael here on my arm is down on his knee rep also represents my husband's, you know, the struggles that we went through. And, you know, kind of like finally putting things to rest. That's what this represents also. So... Um, I do have other tattoos. There, it's really nothing significant. I used to have a thing about dolphins. I still do. Um, I have a dolphin on my foot. I have one on my back. It's a whale tail. I like dolphins and whales. And then I have a small one on this arm. It says Mike's girl. But I'm 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 getting one more tattoo. I have it picked out. I just need to go get it done. But I'm getting something put right here. Not very big. And I'm just going to have something put around here because I feel kind of off balance. I've got this little thing and then I've got this huge thing on my arm over here. So, uh, I can't believe that I just told you guys all that. But I think that as I'm getting older, I'm, I'm more comfortable in my skin. And I think with age comes wisdom. And you get to a point where you realize that struggle is a part of life. And everyone goes through it. I don't think I've met one person yet who's not had some kind of struggle in their life. And that, that's just the way things are. Um, and I shouldn't be ashamed of that, that struggle, because no one's perfect. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. You'll probably be seeing this in a lot more videos, obviously, because I like in the summertime to wear short sleeves or tank tops. Um, if you're watching this video and you don't like tattoos or you don't agree with them, I respect your opinion, but I would ask that you not leave any negative comments um, because, again, this is, you know, this is my body, this is my choice, my decision, and it's something that I don't regret and will never regret, ever. Um, so if you are against tattoos, please just, you know, don't bother commenting. I'd, I'd really rather not read it. So, because this is something that's very personal and dear to me, and any negativity about this would, it would get under my skin a little bit. I'd deal with it, but it would, it would bother me just a tad, I suppose. But, whatever, that's life too, right? Negativity. So anyway, I hope you guys um, didn't mind that I got so personal. And um, if you have any stories or anything like that that you would like to share, uh, leave that for me and if you have tattoos leave a video response because I'd really like to see them so alright you guys uh, I hope that was interesting and um, I will see you soon bye